for the young, old, rural and urban exhibitors and attendees. There is something for everyone each year at Ozark Fall Farm Fest, a testament to its legacy year after year, even during these trying times. Well, Lance, we are here at the Ozark Empire Fair for the 2020 Ozarks Fall Farm Fest. That is a big title, and you have a big title here at the fairgrounds. What do you do for, for us? Jamie, I am the Special Agricultural Events Manager for the Ozark Empire Fair. One of my duties would be the Ozark Fall Farm Fest. Farm Fest attracts hundreds and hundreds of folks from all across the area, but what is it? What do people come to see year after year? Farm Fest, or Ozark Fall Farm Fest is the full name, is a uh, annual event. It's held the first weekend in October every year. It's a uh, showcase mainly for agriculture, agricultural products and services. In addition to that, rural living, uh, anything to do even for suburban residents, and uh, just lots to see and do on the Ozark Empire Fairgrounds. Let's talk about the folks that drive hours to come. Who, who does this event attract? Really, it, uh, the, the core area that it attracts would be eastern Kansas, west and southwest Missouri, northeast Oklahoma, and northwest Arkansas. However, having said that, people mm -hmm. come from much further. We'll have people here probably from Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, certainly vendors from all across the United States, uh, normally from Canada. That's changed a little bit this year with everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. But it truly is a uh, certainly a Midwest draw and, uh, and some people from clear across the United States. Well, I think it's time for us to take a stroll and check out what this year's event has in store. There's lots to see, let's do it. Okay. Forty-first year of Farm Fest, but this is, you know, you're new to Ozark Empire Fair, but you've been with Farm Talk. Talk about the Farm Talk relationship and Ozark Empire Fair and how these 40 years have come to be. Sure, I'd be happy to, Jamie. Uh, I actually started at Farm Talk newspaper June 2nd of 1980. I was fresh out of college, mm -hmm. it was my first job. There was some rumblings in the office about wanting to have a farm show in Springfield, Missouri. Mm -hmm. That was on the heels of the four state farm show that Farm Talk newspaper did in Kansas. We made contact with the Ozark Empire Fairgrounds, the manager at the time, and uh, after numerous meetings, we decided that yes, in the fall of, uh, of uh, 1980, we 1980, would have, wow. 1980, we would have the first Ozark Fall Farm Fest. And I suppose we had maybe 100 or 150 booths total that first year, as opposed to uh, 2020, where we have about 1,000 booths. Gosh, so wow. So that's how much the show's grown. Now we're walking um, past some um, animal handling, livestock handling equipment. Let's talk about um, that type of customer, or th that type of customer and exhibitor. Sure, uh, exhibitor wise and customer wise, I mean primarily this is an agricultural trade show. Mm -hmm. and, and thus you would have a lot of agricultural exhibits. On the equipment side, that ranges from like livestock handling equipment. Mm -hmm. Obviously this four state area is, is huge in cow-calf numbers, et cetera. So livestock handling equipment is popular here at the show. Mm -hmm. uh, the other factor on the machinery on the machinery side would be all the, the tractors, uh, not so much combines in this area, but a lot of hay equipment, mm -hmm. that type thing that fits the area. Well, you know, we're coming up on the Eplex, and that kind of brings in a whole other category of attendee and exhibitor, and that's um, you know addressing uh, the home and home and garden and folks in urban areas. So what? do the inside booths take place because we're looking at this big lot of out type outside ex uh, exhibit space right and as many booths as there are outside there's even more booths inside. inside they're just on a little smaller mm -hmm. scale inside there again you have a lot of agriculturally oriented exhibits but we also have rural living mm -hmm. and rural living is everything that's non-agriculture but yet pertains really not just to farmer or suburban families but even city families if they want to come mm -hmm. out and there you get into uh, lawn and garden, you get into bedding, you get into pots and pans, uh, just anything that anyone can use. So if you come to the show, yes, you can see a lot of ag exhibits, but there's also a lot of other stuff on display too. I think a lot of education also takes place here. You Absolutely. know, as, as someone who's coming to purchase or learning about the opportunities, but 
sitting in an urban area of Springfield, there's a lot of opportunities to come and explore and see the type of equipment, even if they're not purchasing. There is, and uh, you know, a lot of people from the, the city, whether it be Springfield or some of the smaller surrounding cities, mm -hmm. don't really have, I mean, they're surrounded by agriculture, but they may not know that much about it. Mm -hmm. They get to come to the show for a day or two or three. They can kind of see what goes along with agriculture. There's actual animals on display in the barn. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's a learning experience for a lot of people. And even for established farmers and ranchers, there's new technology every year. Mm -hmm. So you get, to, you get to see the showcase of all that too. Technology is a whole other uh, thing that I hadn't even grasped yet in thinking about what technology used in agriculture inside and outside. Now, as, a, as an exhibitor of livestock, there's a lot of producers here. Let's head on over to the barns and learn what they're doing. Sure, glad to do it. So Lance, we are in the brand new cattle barn. Yes, we are. So today we have, well, all weekend, we have folks exhibiting primarily beef cattle. Yes. Well, tell me about those exhibitors. Well, the livestock exhibits are always a very popular feature at Farm Fest. Mm -hmm. We usually have over 500 head on display. Uh, maybe have had some dairy cattle in the past, but primarily it's beef cattle. In addition to that, it would include small stock, sheep, goats, swine, uh, usually some dogs on display, uh, just anything else uh, that would be considered smaller livestock. And there's no show. There so is no here? there is no actual show. The the intent on the livestock from the very initial start of uh, Farm Fest was to showcase the livestock mm -hmm. and offer a private treaty opportunity to sell the livestock. Mm -hmm. So whereas fairs have actual judge shows, right. uh, a lot of times the exhibitors are busy getting ready for the show ring, getting their cattle prepared. This is a little different. Uh, a number of people bring tie cattle, which are actually cattle that are broke to tie mm -hmm. or broke to lead. Some of the more commercial oriented exhibitors bring pin cattle and they actually have pins here at the show and have their cattle on display in that manner. So uh, it's, a, it's a good way to show off livestock. There's always a lot of private treaty sales made mm -hmm. here, but there is no actual judge show, nor is there an actual auctioneer ran uh, sale auction here at the show. So, you know, exhibitors here exhibiting livestock are also um, potential attendees out back interested in that livestock equipment Absolutely we just passed. Absolutely they are. So they dual could, purpose. They could be interested in virtually anything else that's here be it the livestock handling equipment, being the machinery, or being even the consumer items. Uh, so it all ties well and together. At the show, the exhibitors are good prospects for sales mm -hmm. from, the, from other exhibitors, as well as showing their own wares or livestock. I can't help but think an event like this, it's all about relationships and networking. Sure, but everything is really. Mm -hmm. And that's true in the ag world too. You come to the show, you meet new prospects, you see people that have purchased items or livestock from you in past years. You hope for repeat sales. But yes, it's uh, it's like all business, networking's important and certainly important here also at Farm Fest. Well, I'm guessing that uh, it's just day one of the event. There's two days to come, but you're already planning for next year? We are working towards next year. Uh, planning is actually a year-round event. I can't imagine uh, that's <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and we'll hope to work with these exhibitors. If they're in a certain location or booth space this year, they're guaranteed that for next year if they want to come back to the show. Mm -hmm. We're also always looking for new prospects. When you have a show that has a thousand booths, there's just a whole ton of planning that goes into it and uh, to make it successful each year. Where can future attendees go to learn more, but where can future exhibitors come to learn more about potentially coming next year? They can contact uh, myself, Lance Markley, uh, through the Ozark Empire Fairgrounds. I'm the show coordinator for this show, and uh, we have a website, OzarkSoilFarmFest.com, that they could go to. But uh, basically, just contact the Ozark Empire Fairgrounds in Springfield, Missouri. We'll be more than happy to work with you for the 2021 show. And we'll be here to see them. Yes, we will.